Hi, this is Brandy with another quick tech tip from Smart Solution Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to use your ImageMate software to show images from your document camera to your smart board. I'll show you three different ways to bring in those that ImageMate software image and annotate on top of it with your smart pens. The first way I'll show you is within Smart Notebook using the smart transparent background with your ImageMate software. The second way is to use that ImageMate software and save that graphic as an image file and use Smart Ink. And the third way is to bring that image right into a notebook page so that you can use it as part of a smart notebook lesson. Alright, now the first way I'm going to show you is that transparent background. So here I am on a plain old notebook page with very few objects, just that's this text and this graphic. What the transparent background does is it allows us to use all of our smart tools into, we can use those tools while we're in other applications on our computer. Go ahead to click on my view screens icon. My transparent background is the second option. When I get to that transparent background, you can see now we're just looking at my entire desktop and the tools I have available to me. Make these a little bigger. I can manipulate that text that I had as an object on my notebook page along with this picture I have. I'll go ahead and delete this text using this red X. Make my toolbar just a little smaller. Scoot it off to the side. And now I'm going to open up my ImageMate software. So when I open my ImageMate software, you'll get to see the image that's projected underneath my Elmo smart document cam um, my Elmo document camera. Sorry. So I have this worksheet that I would be using with my class. I'll go ahead and make that worksheet that image full screen. So now you can see I'm still in my notebook transparent layer. I can pick up a pen and I can write right on top of that worksheet. And now the way this is working is I've got a layer of my smart notebook layer is the top layer and the worksheet is the bottommost layer. So if I move the worksheet it will move but those annotations will stay right where they are. So I can work with the two, two separate softwares at the same time. When I go ahead and exit my transparent background, you'll see my annotations are now a part of my smart notebook page, but that image is not. There are a few other options we can use if this one isn't the one you want. I'll go ahead and minimize notebook and then show you the next one. I'm going to minimize this from full screen. And what I want to do now is I want to orient this page so that it's exactly where I want it to be because I'm going to take a still image of it and keep that image as an image file on my computer. Over here in my ImageMate toolbar, this second icon with the camera will allow me a few more options, including the one I'm looking for. This icon here will allow me to save the image as a JPEG. So when I save it, I can see it's going to be saved as a JPEG, and I'll just call it nouns. A noun. I'll save it to my desktop so it's easy to find. And there's that image now. So I'll go ahead and close my ImageMate software because I don't need it right now. Open up my noun software, or my noun image, I'm sorry. And now you can see the whole image is saved, but I'll have to scroll to see the whole thing. So now when I go ahead and I write on my noun clown worksheet, picking up my smart board pens, I go ahead and I write. And I'm simply using the smart ink feature that's located right up here. Now, when I scroll up and down, you'll see that once again, those annotations stay in one place and the worksheet moves behind it. But what Smart Ink allows is a screen capture. So I can go ahead and take a capture here. It'll take a picture of everything we're looking at on the screen right now and insert it right into my open notebook file. So there's that image that I just took, but now it's in notebook and the annotations are a part of the actual image in the background. Now, if that's not what you're looking for, there is one more way that we can do this. Let me add a fresh page to my notebook file. And now I go here to my Insert menu, click on Insert, and I'm going to insert a picture from a scanner. The only document camera that Smart recognizes as an actual document camera is the Smart document camera. Everything else is considered a scanner. So we'll insert a picture from scanner. There's my software, ImageMate Twain. Scan. And get that little error message. We have once again this live worksheet feed. 
Okay, let's go ahead and position that exactly the way we want it. And now I have this little camera icon down here at the bottom. What this camera icon does is it will transfer the image from the image mate twain right into the application that I'm working with. So I click on that. It appears as though nothing has happened. But once I close that box, the image will appear right in my notebook page. And now I can work with it. So once again, I can go ahead and annotate right on top of my page and keep any notes that I need to right within this notebook page. And that's how you use your ImageMate software with your smart notebook and your smart board pens. If you have any other questions, you can certainly email us at training at smarterguys.com or check out our website, www.smarterguys.com. Please check back at our YouTube channel for more quick tech tips.